Young Brexiteer Tom Harwood has slammed Remainers for changing their scare stories every day of the week as Boris Johnson continues to ramp up preparations for a no-deal Brexit. Brexiteer Tom Harwood has fired back at the latest no-deal scaremongering during a fiery Sky News debate this afternoon. The Guido Fawkes journalist hit out at Phoebe Potter, a prominent Remain campaigner for pro-EU pressure group Our Future, Our Choice, over claims of the no-deal impact on British farmers. The interview took place as Boris Johnson visited Wales in an attempt to rally support from farmers for his Brexit plans. Defending Mr Johnson's no-deal plans, Harwood launched into a scathing rebuke of Remainer's Brexit scaremongering. He told Sky's K Burley, We have groups like the National Farmers Union saying it will be bad because we will move to a more free trading economy, where the goods will be cheaper and imports will be cheaper for consumers. Then you have other lobby groups who say the prices for food will shoot up, which were good for farmers. Well, which is it? Remainers simply can't decide which scare stories they want to use depending on the day of the week it is. The Brexiteer continued, What we do know is when we leave the EU, on day one we get control over our tariff regime. We will be able to set our own trading relationship with the world, and we can set one that is in the best interests of our farmers. He had earlier praised Boris Johnson's claims that a no-deal Brexit would not harm British farmers. Mr Harwood said, nearly every farmer throughout this country absolutely loathes the EU and its common agricultural policy. It is a policy that is incredibly bad for our domestic farmers and is set to suit the needs of continental France. K. Burley was forced to interject at one point, when Potter and Harwood furiously debated whether Boris Johnson had previously backed the EU. During his visit to Wales, Prime Minister Boris Johnson told reporters the farming sector will have the support they need in the event of no deal. He said, we will make sure that they have the support that they need, if there are markets that are going to be tricky that we help them to find new markets. We have interventions that aim to support them and their incomes. The Farmers Union of Wales president had earlier warned of civil unrest in rural areas if the UK leaves the EU without an agreement. The Prime Minister also made his first phone call to Irish leader Leo Varadkar since taking office today. He declared that it was up to the EU. This is their call if the UK leaves the EU without a deal.